Welcome back. We're gonna go through a quick setup of the Jumper T light so that you can start playing simulators or start setting it up in Betaflight and these switches will be able to do stuff. Uh, when I first got the Jumper T light, I just plugged it into the simulator and it didn't work. So this is gonna help you out so that all these switches will work so that you can use it. <laughs> so let's turn it on first. I'm gonna have to push a button. Now we're gonna hold on model. Then we're gonna push model a few times till we get to the mix page. Is it the mix page? Yes, we're gonna go to the mixes page. You hit down, we're gonna go to channel five, and then we're gonna hit enter, and we're gonna go to source, enter, and now you're gonna flick this switch. Okay, very good. Then you hit enter, and then you return. Then you're gonna go to channel six, you're gonna click enter, you can go here, hit enter, and then you're gonna flick that. Very nice. Enter, return. Channel seven, enter, max, enter, flick the switch, enter, return, and then channel eight, enter, whatever that is, enter, flick the switch, enter, exit, kaboom! And that's that. You're done, now you're ready to uh, take it to the simulator, set it up in beta flight, and now these switches should be usable for you. Hope that helped you. If it did, smash that like button, consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing a whole pile more videos on uh, setting up this controller with Express LRS and all sub 250 things. So have a good one. Yeah.